Several more women have accused porn actor James Dean of sexual assault uh, since the last time we reported on this story, and I wanted to give you guys uh, the update. Now, before I get into the details, it's important to just put out there that he hasn't been charged of anything yet. It's unclear whether he will be charged of anything in the future, and a number of media companies that he's had partnerships with have severed ties with him. With that said, uh, let me give you the details of the new accusations. Now, this all started when his ex-girlfriend, Stoya, tweeted about how he allegedly raped her. Uh, she tweeted about it and let people know, you know, it's, it's kind of sickening that people are applauding this guy when he raped me as a feminist. Uh, now, I'm paraphrasing, but that was essentially what she said. So, now, you know, because some people think that he's a feminist. Yes. And so pretending to be a feminist and then doing the rape. Is, but although I don't know that he does pretend to be a feminist, that might be just something that was kind of put on him. Right. Well, he talks about how he believes in women's rights and, and mm -hmm. consent and all of that. So yeah. people have kind of given him that feminist title. Yeah. He's never really taken it, taken it on, on himself. Uh, mm -hmm. But let me give you the details. So he's been accused of sexual assault by three additional women as of Wednesday. A few days earlier, four women had accused Dean of sexually assaulting them, allegations he firmly denied. On Wednesday, porn stars Amber Rain and Cora Peters came forward, telling the Daily Beast that they too had been sexually assaulted by Dean. Rain said Dean punched her in the face twice as the two were shooting a sex scene for a film, though she added that the two are friends today. Now keep in mind, like these, these two recent allegations include him abusing the women during the shoot. Mm -hmm. with other people around, which I found really interesting. Peter said Dean choked her, slammed her face into a couch, and anally raped her during a shoot for which she had not consented to anal sex. Peter said Dean was congratulated by the crew after the alleged assault. Later that day, porn actresses Joanna Angel alleged years of physical and sexual abuse by Dean during their 2005 to 2011 relationship in an interview on Jason Ellis's series XM radio show. So this was, look, uh, if these charges are true, it's a no-brainer and obvious, right? Okay, um, but I, I get that people are confused by it because did that camera crew really applaud him thinking, hey, he just raped her, that's fantastic, or did they think that, that, that she had consented? They didn't know she hadn't consented. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's not like there aren't. Uh, anal scenes in, in porn, there are, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the crew probably has no idea that she hadn't consented to one. Do so, you see what I'm saying? So that framing is a little off. And then some of these movies are rough. So then what? where is the line from what they consented to and not? And maybe that line is super clear between the actors, the directors, the producers, but not clear to the crew, right? right? So it's not like, hey, they're all being monsters as they watch this poor woman get raped on camera. Um, and, and maybe his claim will be like, I didn't know where the line was either. I thought I had consent. So I don't, okay, so a few things. There's so many things going through my mind right now. First of all, I think that it's telling that so many women are coming forward now. And mm -hmm. it's kind of like the Bill Cosby effect, where some women come forward, they finally feel you know, enough courage to come forward and talk about their stories. And then other women who might have been a lot more afraid to come forward or go public with their stories now feel like they can stand in solidarity and share their stories as well. I feel like there's a little bit of that going on. I don't know whether or not these allegations are true, but I, I find it hard to believe that so many women are going to come forward with similar accusations. Okay, so there's that. Also, when it comes to the crew, I read her account of what happened, and with the way that she spoke about it, it, it seemed as though the crew did know, okay, mm -hmm. or at least she feels that they knew. Mm -hmm. Now, that said, I, I can totally understand your perspective because when it comes to certain porn scenes, I mean, they're purposely shot to be very rough. I mean, he worked for kink.com, which is known for BDSM and that, you know, very rough type of sex. They've severed ties with him since all these allegations came out. But you, you watch some of those scenes and they're brutal. And they're brutal usually with the actors and actresses consenting to it. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the crew was confused. Maybe they thought that was part of the deal. Yes. But this is something that should be looked into and investigated at the very least. So um, I think the context is very, very important here. Let's give his denial first, of course. He tweets out, I respect women and I know and respect limits both professionally and privately. So that's his take on it, right? Now, uh, the context here is the one that you outlined. Not just this, a lot of women going forward, but even 
uh, people from the industry saying, we, outside the industry, you might not have known this, but we knew it, mm -hmm. right? And, and a company had cut off ties with him, um, and I believe it's called Trenchcoat X, right? No, Trenchcoat has not cut off ties with him. So let me give you the details of that. Okay. So um, there are a number of companies, including the Frisky, which had a column featuring uh, Dean, cut ties with him, kink.com, a BDSM website, cut ties with him, Evil Angel, same situation. However, I thought this was really interesting. Trenchcoat X is actually a website that's run by Stoya, the woman who dated him and came out with the original allegations against him. Now, they have not cut off ties with him because he's featured in many videos with Stoya on that website, and they're making money off of those websites or those videos. Yeah, now, but let me be clear about that. They say we're not doing anything with him going forward. Yeah. Okay, but we're not taking down the old videos. It also features the person who was abused and who makes money off of the videos that did not involve abuse, right? So that's a practice that you can question, right? Mm -hmm. And and but the person who is the victim in that case apparently is on the side of keeping the videos up. So it's complicated. It's complicated. But but they did say this. I thought this this kind of convinced me. They said the fact is this news about James is news to the public, but not news to us. We took this into consideration back when we were building the site while we made the decision back then not to hire him going forward we can't undo the fact that he is featured in some of the scenes that Stoya directed during their relationship. So, uh, meaning, we've known about the, his proclivities uh, of, of apparently roughing people up and then doing things without consent um, for a while. Now, again, they're related they're to Stoya, who is the one doing the accusing. So keep that in mind as well. So th look, this there's a lot of look. I I feel like it's inconceivable that if these allegations are true, that crew and producers and people behind the scenes didn't know about what was really going on. Mm -hmm. And if they knew it was going on and they chose to stay silent, well, I think there's a huge problem there. And that's that's, you know, a very very weak statement considering how terrible that is. Yeah. So look. Uh, bottom line is, uh, if they decide to pursue these charges, we'll find out. They'll go to court. It won't be easy to prove. Uh, and remember, when they go to prove it, it's got to be beyond a reasonable doubt. So it's not like we think he kind of did it. It's got to be we're positive that he did it. So he might have done it and not meet that standard anyway. They might not be able to convict him. But that's why we have a justice system. So they should let that work it out.